Hello there. This is the family doctor. Customary for the help in this country drugstore to address the patrons with hi? Well, well, gee, I... Say, this ain't a country drugstore. Oh, isn't it? <laughs> really, you could have fooled me. All right, buddy. Don't get the dander up. What do you have? Well, my name's Marvin Forrest. Yeah? I've just arrived in this crossroads of creation with the mater. What do you mean, mater? You don't know what mater means? Really? Come on, come on. What do you want? No, don't get impatient. Uh, I don't think I caught the name. My name is Harper, Chick Harper. Now, what can I do for you? Well, I'll tell you, Chickie. The mater, uh, and for your information, that's my dear old gray-haired mother. The mater and I have just arrived. Yeah? Yeah. She's here on some sort of mysterious mission. She won't tell me what it is, but anyway, I guess I'm going to be stuck here for a couple of weeks. Now, of course, I don't carry much cash around with me, and... Uh, I'd like to have you set up an account for me. Account? You mean you want to charge stuff? Well, that's exactly what I mean. You're a bright boy, Chickie. Hey, listen. I work here at this store, and i got to treat the customers politely. But I don't have to stand for you calling me Chickie. Now, now what do you want? <laughs> I just told you. I want you to set up a credit account for me while I'm here. I can't do it. What? Oh, why can't you? Mr. May's got to do that. Mr. May? Well, who's Mr. May? He's my boss. He owns this drugstore. Didn't you see the name outside? Well, no, I, I really didn't. Uh, oh, very well, then. Uh, I'll wait until he comes in. Okay. Now, if you don't want anything, I'll get busy with what I've got to do. Oh, oh, oh just a moment, Chickie. Say, you. I just got through telling you not to call me Chickie. Now, that's the last time I'm going to tell you. My name is Chick Harper. Now, get that straight. And that's what you're going to call me. Now, 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 careful of the blood pressure. Fate me not, ere I do that, I should be sorry for it. That's what Cassius said to Brutus, and he really meant what he said. Do you understand, Mr. Harper? Say, listen, why can't you come in here and get what you want and get out? What do you have to stand there giving me all that swell talk for? Swell talk? <laughs> That's funny, very funny. Well, all right, then. You can whip me up a bit of a chocolate malt. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, uh, Mr. Harper... Did you ever attend a military school? No. Oh, you're lucky. Very lucky. Yeah? Yeah. I've just been graduated from one. The Bayshore School for Boys. And why they call it the Bayshore School, I'll never know. It's 20 miles from a body of water, and that's a reservoir. But it's very swanky. Very exclusive. Only the signs of the very best families go there. Oh, but it's an awful bore. No quips. Quips? Yeah. Well, you know, babes, dames. Girls. Oh. Well, there's your malt. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, I'm awfully glad to get through with the place. Old broken-down colonels and majors snooping around all the time. Stiff uniforms, drilling and formations and inspections. The matron tucking you in bed every night at ten. <laughs> tucking you in bed? <laughs> oh, figuratively speaking, of course. They don't really do it. That would have been the limit. <laughs> Say, there was one old gal that would have liked her, though. She was really the 20 most... 20 cents, please. Huh? 20 cents. 
for the mop. Oh, oh, yes, of course. Well, well, don't rush me, Chicky. Don't rush me. Yeah, there you are. Twenty cents. Thanks. Well, I will say this for you. You make a right, smart mop. Mm, thanks. That's probably one thing they didn't teach you at the Bayshore School for Boys. What? <laughs> yes, you're quite right. That's one thing they didn't teach us. Well, I guess I... Hey, hey, who are the two babes out there walking past your store? Say, they're all right, especially the little one. Who are they? They're Ella Mary Bliss. Her father runs the biggest grocery store in Cedarton, and the other one is Faith Windsor. Her father is president of the bank and justice of the peace. Mm. It might interest you to know that their folks are very strict. Oh, oh really? Oh, well, you're wrong there, my boy. It doesn't interest me, not in the least. Well, see you later. And don't forget to tell the old man to fix up that credit account for the mater and me. She'll take care of it when we're ready to leave this busy metropolis. Well, so long, Chicky. <laughs> Chicky. Gosh. Oh, no. Gee. Oh, well, I'll have to pay for it. But it was worth it. Face your school for boys. Mater. Quips. No. Well, afternoon, Chick. Hello. Well, what's the matter with you? Dr. Adams, did you see that guy that just left here? Young Marvin Forrest? Yeah, what about him? Do you like him, Doc? Oh, I don't know now. I haven't really had enough contact yet to... Say, what's the trouble? Did he do anything to rile you just now, Chick? Yes, he did. I used to live in a city, too, but if that's the kind of a guy they're turning out in big cities now, give me Cedarton. Well, now, you mustn't let people get you upset, Chick. Live and let live. You've got to adjust your likes and dislikes and personal characteristics to those of other people. Did it ever occur to you that you might have some little trait that, that might get under other people's skins now and then? No, oh, sure, I know I ain't perfect, not by a long shot. But at least I ain't hi-hat. No, no, you're not, Jake. Oh, well, laugh it off. That's what I have to do lots of times. Fill this order for me, will you please? It isn't a prescription, so you don't have to wait for Pete May. Just fix it up, and I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, Dr. Adams. I'll get it out for you right away. <laughs> what the... Say, who's back there? Say, now, I'll, I'll bet... I'll... Here, 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 you two boys. You can't take this. Why, well, you're wrecking Pete Mayer's store. Have you never cut it out now? Now, what's the idea? Oh, this heck thing... Listen, Doc. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, one at a time. Chick, what's this all about? No, he keeps calling me Chicky. He just got me so I couldn't control myself, that's all. More. Is that right, Marvin? Oh, he's so sorry. He, he can't take it. I can't, huh? Well, I'll show you. Yes, 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 yes. I said stop this nonsense. <laughs> you listen to me, you two. Cedarton's too small a place to have any hard feelings running around town loose. And I'm going to appoint myself a committee of one to put a stop to it. Chick? There's a clear space uh, about 20 feet square out in back of our building, isn't there? Yes. And there's a light on the front of that shed out there, isn't there? Yeah. All right, now. I want you two to meet me out there at 8 o'clock tonight. Well, what's the idea? Never mind. You just be there, Marvin. And, and you too, Chick. Mm, okay. All right. All right, now. Come along, Marvin. I'll drive you up to the hotel. All right, Doctor. And don't forget, 8 o'clock tonight. He's just yellow, that's all. No, Jake, I don't really believe he is. Yeah, you just bet I'm not. Oh, evening, Marvin. Oh. Now, uh, I've brought along a couple of pairs of gloves. Bought them this afternoon at Rankin's Hardware. Gloves? They're boxing gloves. Boxing gloves? Oh, didn't you get the idea this afternoon? Well, as a committee of one, I've decided that you two boys are going to box it out. And I said box it out, not fight it out. You understand? Well, it's yeah. swell with me. All right, now. And the fellow who wins this match gets the gloves. Is that all right? Okay. Sure. Are you ready? 
Yeah. Very well. Now remember, the Marcus of Queensbury rules are good in this match. No hitting in the clinches, no hitting below the belt, and when a man is down, the other man will go to a neutral corner. All understood? Yeah, you yeah. bet. Now, I'll shake hands. Huh? You're not supposed to shake hands in a spite fight. This isn't a spite fight. It's a boxing match. Now, shake hands. No, okay. All right. Now, take your corners. All right. Go. <coughs> Six down, Marvin. Go to a neutral corner. One, two, three, four. He isn't hurt badly, five, is he, Doctor? I don't think so. Eight, nine, ten. Chick. Come on, Chick. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I hope I didn't hit you too hard. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, that's all right. Gee, you. <laughs> You got a terrific right there, pal. Yes? Well, you're left you after the jaw, isn't there? Any love tap. <laughs> All right. Get up, Chick. Uh, here. Here, we'll give you a hand. Uh, uh, there. Now, you see, boys, if more folks would go to each other and have these little misunderstandings out, there wouldn't be nearly so many hard feelings stirring us all up into a frenzy all the time. I saw that you two lads wanted to have a go at fisticuffs, and so... That's why I arranged this little match. Mm, it was okay, too, wasn't it, Forrest? Hey, you bet it was, Chicky. Oh, I'll lay off me, will you? <laughs> hey, stop it! Stop in the name of the law! Oh, what's the matter now, Bill? Uh, Chief of Police of Cedar and I command you. Where? Oh, it's Doc Adams. Yes, Mr. Benson, what's the matter with you? Well, well uh, Maddie Clark phoned over to the station house and said she could see from her back window that there was a fight going on over here. She said a couple of hoodlums and an old hobo was having it out, something fierce. Oh, she did, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Chief, you're just in time to present the gloves to the winner, battling Marvin Forrest. Uh, uh, Marvin Forrest? Why, not that rich young dude that's... Uh, uh, come along, boys. Chief of Police Benson is just about to treat a couple of hoodlums and an old hobo to some malted milk. What do you say, Bill? Well, thanks. I don't mind. Uh, what? Who, me? Oh. <laughs> All right, Doc. Never let it be said that Bill Benson never done his duty when he's seated. <laughs> come on, boys. Come on. Doc. Okay. <laughs> This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>